This is WCIA Gray Sports and you're a line line nation. Full court Friday is back and Illinois basketball gets a top 10 showdown at Purdue. Can't ask for much more than that, right? We've got a busy night ahead and a big time opportunity for the Illini looking to take down the top ranked Boilermakers. WCI 3's Andy Olson live at Mackey Arena in West Lafayette. Ahead of this great looking night, Andy. Yeah, Brett, it should be a very exciting night. It has not been really that long basketball season-wise since these two teams closed out last regular season here at Mackey Arena. But boy, do these two teams look different now. Illinois lost by five, but never led in last season's matchup to end the year. Now without Terrence Shannon Jr., the veteran transfers are all stepping up. Marcus Damask, Justin Harmon, and Quincy Garrier all had 14 points or more against Northwestern on Tuesday night. On the other side, four of the Boilermakers' five expected starters returned from last year's squad, including reigning National Player of the Year, Zach Eady. You know, it's such a unique situation to have a reigning National Player of the Year return. Um, he's probably uh, more dominant than he was last year, in my opinion. You just don't see 7'4", but it's, it's amazing just what the extra four inches does. I mean, yeah, he's huge. I mean, I haven't seen anybody like him, but um, you can't be scared of him. There's no, he doesn't put fear in us. While the Illini will try to crack the cone on Edie, Illinois coming off of consecutive games where success came from backing down guards and making their two-point shots. I think Illinois has proven that they'll, you know, they'll pick you apart. You know, they're all willing passers. You know, he has said over and over how connected they are. And you can see it, the way they play and where they share the basketball. So, you know, you, you got to get them in their blind spots. You, you got to get them um, when they're vulnerable. If not, you got to be able to play good team defense. But at times, you got to be able to, you know, guard your man and play one-on-one -on -one defense. So Purdue knows that, but will they be able to do it is the question. Here's the matchup. Illinois has not played in a top 10 game since they beat Ohio State in the Big Ten Tournament Championship back in 2021. Tip-off tonight is 7.30 on Fox Sports 1. We've got more coming up on our social channels. Derek Piper and I break down the game. More on the Your Illini Nation pregame show that will be on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and YourIlliniNation.com. That coming up in just a few minutes. I'll tell you what, the energy already great inside here at Mackey Arena. Some Illini fans already making their way down here. I saw former Illinois defensive coordinator, current Purdue head football coach Ryan Walters is in the building, Brett, so it should be a fun one indeed. All right, Andy, so much attention on Zach Eady, but it's the shooters as well. How do you think Illini, uh, the Illinois team, is going to go about this? Try, do they just put all hands on Eady? Do they try and guard the shooters? What do you think? <laughs> Right, I have to think that they're going to stick with Coleman Hawkins and playing defense. At least we saw last year that Hawkins got into some foul trouble early in this game. That's going to be the key is making sure that you don't give up some of these ticky-tack fouls. You know how big Zach Eady is. Sometimes just by playing basketball, he finds his way into fouls. That's just because of how big he is. You heard Brad say seven foot four. So we'll see how Illinois goes about guarding, but I think getting him away from the basket is going to be key. We'll see how much Dane Danger gets some play in this one as he can match up size just a bit. Either way, Edie's going to be the key. And Illinois on the other side, being able to get the ball away from Edie on the inside and make it their two-pointers, I think, will be the key in this one. We'll have highlights coming up later tonight, Brett, but for now, we'll send it back to you. All right, Andy, thank you so much. And we'll see how many uh, fouls get called there as well against the Illini tonight.